Uh, he's, uh, I think Jerky's a lovely man, really. You know, uh, he's uh, short-tempered at the moment only d due to his circumstances, which uh, I think is going to help uh, the process of this kind of film as it goes on. He, he finds himself again. That's it. So it's a complete journey for Juggy. Juggy is, a, is at the same time very passionate about his food. He loves cooking. Uh, he cooks the best main courses that one can ever taste. And he's very particular about it. I went to a drama school at the age of 11, so up in Yorkshire. On, on the acting side, that's when I really the acting came in. And prior to that, I used to do, as you know, at school, I used to imitate the teachers and that's when my English, and I wrote a sketch and my English teacher said, maybe you should apply to this drama school in Leeds, a court intake. And where we did, uh, where, you know, we did uh, two, three plays every year. I didn't have to do chemistry, biology or physics, you know. I did dance, drama, photography and music. So uh, it, it lent that way to go there. So uh, that's when I started really as a, in, in this kind of mad world of the acting world. First of all, I think when, when you read the script, you can see how delicate it was. I think it's a very delicate piece of work. Um, and at the same time, knowing the situation of these two characters, of this family, where they are, it made, it, there was something very real about it. I think those circumstances do lie within culture, within families, very, very kind of um, extended families and what happens with those extended families. The humour was... Uh, very attractive to it, but at the, at the same time, I thought it was it was a pathos within what was written there. There was a sense of real reality in this uh, on the on the original script, uh, and uh, food, you know, uh, and to tie everything up was this kind of these people had this great. Pa there was a passion involved, you know, which was food. People should go and see this film because I think they will relate to it. You know, uh, and I think there's an honesty about it, about the film, uh, and a real journey. And I think, th th like we say, there is a simplicity about it, but the complex of relationships that exist within this script is, is intriguing enough how this kind of unfolds and how it reveals itself. Uh, so for an audience, I think it's going to be not only visually fantastic, hopefully in the storytelling of it, that they really get involved in it in their own personal way, because I think this, this film can relate to many people, uh, and food, you know. If you don't feel hungry after this film, that means we deeply failed. <laughs>You can taste something when it's made with, with care and love, and you can taste something when it's done with anger and, ex, you know, and exhaustion. So I, I think with the, within this, that if we can capture that, that it, there's a real passion and real desire to, to, to give. And I think when a punter goes out to eat food, or he, after watching this film, even if they go out to eat, they, they can, hopefully they will start tasting the different kind of essence and different qualities, the different spices that, that is so different to another same piece of food they might have tried somewhere else because it becomes quite unique within the chef. You know, it's Amit's mum. You know, the chart that she's been cooking, she's been cooking there for about over 30 years. So the quality of the food, you know what you're gonna get. And, uh, and that makes it quite unique in it's because it's, it, it, it came with her. And what she's created is of that essence, what she's learned. And, to go and taste food like that, you know, it's unique. Uh, and, and sadly, I, I hear that she's packing it in. Uh, but we'll be popping around Amits to go and eat around there. Absolutely gorgeous, her food. It's all happening in Leicester. It's on Belgrave Road. And, and, I, and you've seen Belgrave Road, that as how much of a community there is. So everybody knows that this young man who I met, funny enough, over 12 years ago on Belgrave Road when he said, will you come in and have some food at my mum's? And we went in. He made, made a masala tea and we sat down and he wanted to be a filmmaker. And now to sit with him, to sit in his film, to play, you know, in his film, it's, uh, it's a blessing. And you can tell, it tells you a lot about Amit, you know, his drive and his passion for, for filmmaking.
when I auditioned, they asked for a scene, and the one that I read was uh, at the time when uh, Juggy had enough of his workers, and he felt, you know, at that particular time where the world was and people not wanting to work, and at the same time questioning uh, his future for his for his trade, who, the employment of it. You know, when humour crosses so many different barriers, it, it doesn't have a caste, creed, colour, it doesn't have any of that, we all laugh. And I think in this is a particular type of humour. It's not, It's not. I don't think it's a, well, I'm, I don't play, it. it's not this, the slapstick in it. It, it comes from the character, the humour, you know, without realising that they are actually being funny. You see, if, if you are on a journey with the character and you start to understand him, you'll understand the humour that these characters have. So I think there's a different type of quality of humour than just the necessarily of, I mean, there's some belly laughs, don't get me wrong, but there's, uh, at the same time, there's a lot of subtleties that happen with the humour with this film, which I did like. I really enjoyed the scenes with Lilu as well because, you know, uh, where her approach, um, in one respect, she is she is my strength in, in, you know, somebody I trust. And I love that about that they are these couple are not thinking of separating or divorcing or whatever. They're very much together. And I think that making that relationship sound and solid and Juggy really somebody who knows him well enough. I think that's been a real quality about with the scenes with Lilu. You know, uh, she, there is a sense of that, yes, she does have a hold of him to a certain extent, only for his own good. Um, those have been, and I think the cooking stuff has been great as well, you know, uh, understanding more of that. I think the colours and the, and the uniqueness of the taste and the smells that are actually arising when we're actually making the food. You know, uh, which is a blessing to Nicole, uh, you know, our uh, food expert who turned, you know, uh, who's, who's, who's teaching us at the same time, telling us what's needed. So I think the whole, the, I think the whole lot has been a real positive experience with the, I've, I haven't done a film as, as like, as for a food film in that respect. With, and I think, again, it's, uh, it's a very important uh, within our own culture, how, f how important food is. So I think that's the highlight as well, heightening that up. It's not just, you know, we, we, we consume a lot of it, uh, but we now we actually see what the passion behind it as well. Well, I do like cooking, you know. Uh, I do like cooking in the, in the your Indian cuisines, your dals to sabjis. So I have to cook at home, I have children so they need to be fed as much as I liked cooking for them.